Donja Fistula Center in the patient ward. It's now been cleaned. It's closed for the for the day and the evening. Our surgery patients await surgery beginning on Saturday. Today is Thursday afternoon. And you can see the how nice and bright and clean that it is. Shielded on the west from the harsh sun. In a Aiki at Kim Wan and Santa Pisilla, Sawan Shikara Gudad Elegy, in a Aiki OR, in a Antema Kama doctor. So he's saying he, he assists the doctor, he is the scrub nurse in the OR. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Nispa? <laughs> okay, and he's learned the names of all the instruments taught by the nurse manager, the very capable Jackie from Australia, and she's here with us to do additional training today. So, merci, merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci. And of course, we have to change our shoes because it's, we're walking into a highly sanitized and sterile facility. And here is Hawa. She is the administrator of the entire a surgical facility and, and campus here for the fistula patients. And she will take us on a tour of the operating facility here. This is a separate building from the ward where the patients stay and separate still from the clinic the, uh, where the examination rooms are and separate as well from the uh, patient hostel where they where they uh, stay before surgery. This is the OR. We have three beds. Um, it's, it was intentionally created without demarcation because we are hoping to be a training center. And part of it is that surgeons will be able to exchange and share ideas while surgeries take place. So in future, we have three surgeons it's possible to continue, um, have three surgeries at the same time and be able to look at what each other are doing. You also notice the windows, that's so there's natural light that comes in, but there is a special covering on the windows from the outdoors so that no one on the outdoors can see into the OR. It's hidden from view from the outside. The recovery room is meant to keep the surgeon immediate, uh, the patient immediately after surgery so that she recuperates before she's been transferred to the ward. We also use the room as a scanning room, uh, use it as a storage for some of our medical items. And we have the Eurodynamics that takes place here as well. And the Eurodynamics testing is used to assist with diagnosing the patient more precisely so the extent of the problem is known before surgery. La salle de matériel stérile. En français, let's see. And here we can see how neatly everything is organized uh, in this room. And, uh, and we have additional supplies that are um, outside of the building in a special uh, storage area. And also the autoclaves. I want to show the autoclaves for steam autoclaving uh, that, so that the instruments, very expensive instruments, metal instruments used in surgery can be reused. These buildings here were constructed to handle the laundry so that all of the uh, the sheets and surgical drapes and surgical gowns can be washed at the end of the day and reused. Of course, we don't have the luxury of uh, disposables as uh, are used in the States, and, and uh, we have fortunately plenty of sunshine that gives us the advantage of uh, additional 
uh, sterilization from the sun, which is uh, an extra plus. So you can see that everything is hung on the line, even during the rainy season, we're told, uh, because it's still so warm that um, eventually the clothes do dry. But there is uh, a wonderful walkway that has been now paved since I was last here, a walkway from the surgical suite and the clinic down to where the, the hostel, um, where the patients reside until they've been properly diagnosed and um, scheduled for surgery and that's where they wait. And you can see there are even lights upon the walk. And th that's a, uh, a new uh, addition for security reasons uh, to make sure that um, we minimize the vulnerability of, of these, these women. Uh, but in the garden you can see that um, there is effort made at uh, providing a garden that the women can actually till and uh, collect fruits from. These are uh, green tomatoes uh, you can see growing on the plants. And there's a full-time gardener in this area who, um, who waters the plants from a very deep well uh, that is on the campus here. Okay, so here we are with the campus director, manager. Yeah. Ha Thomas, yeah. introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Thomas Shewa, and I'm a director of the Danja Center for Health. And um, my wife is a co-director, and she works and as And we a, met Hawa earlier. Okay, yeah. Mm. And so uh, it is a, a great privilege to be a part of what God is doing here. And um, the Fist Judah Center has brought a semblance of hope, you know, to an old 60-year-old leprosy hospital, you know, that was associated with stereotypes and, you know, a, a symbol of old, you know, a, a mission work. And then now we, we have, you know, people coming from all walks of life, you know, from Nigeria and other places, women who were hopeless, you know, who were discriminated against now are coming to this place and they are receiving a new hope and, and making them people who can return into their communities and be relevant, respectable members of the community. And so. Thomas, I understand that um, the care that is being given at the on the campus has expanded in the area of the leprosy center. It's not just treating leprosy patients anymore. It's a broad clinic. Is this right? Yeah, yeah. There is a general dispensary, you know, that that caters to people from all walks of life that 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 deals with different conditions other than leprosy. So we still have a little leprosy program that, 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 that we run here, but the majority of our patients are non-leprosy uh, patients. So our, our doors are open to anyone who is seeking medical care. So Thomas, I know you're very busy and you have to return to your meeting, but what is your dream for the for the whole campus here at Danja, including the Danja Fistula Center? Uh, my dream is for this place to be a multi-purpose uh, healthcare center that will you know, provide help for women and children you know, who, who are the most vulnerable of, 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 of our community and for us to also continue the general dispensary and also continue serving you know, uh, those suffering from the leprosy condition. Great. Well, you're doing a, a great service yourself to be the manager and the director of this entire campus. There's a lot going on here, including a preschool yeah. for the people who, who live and work here. So yeah. it's quite quite a staff and quite an operation. So my congratulations to you. Many thanks. Mm -hmm.